Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. So today we are resuming the Daedric quest. Of course, in the last episode, we just did Boethia's, got the Ebony Mail, but I actually didn't realize, and had a viewer pointed out to me, that the Immersive Weapons mod adds in gold brand. It was on the guy's corpse in my defense. I have a ring light right in front of me. I wear contacts. My eyes are sensitive anyway. They are dry at the end of recordings. And, uh... Not, not the most useful to me. So we may go ahead and go pick that up just to see how it is in immersive weapons because I, I didn't know it added that. I don't usually do the Boethia quest line, like I said. And it's been so long since I've installed that mod that I don't remember all, what all it added. So we will be doing that. However, the main focus of today will actually be the Mehrun's Dagon quest. We had just already had it in our quest log and it's one that I personally like since, you know, the connection with the Mythic Dawn and Oblivion, my favorite game, probably. Kinda just depends on my mood. Either way, that is what we are going to be doing. But like I said, let's, uh, yeah, I don't remember where, I think, actually, I think I have it in my saves. Was it, yeah, Knife Point Mine, that, there he is right there. That's the guy that should have it. Good on me for making that save there, so I don't have to watch old footage to figure out where that was. Okay, uh, game crashed. I just stepped outside and it crashed. We're off to a great start. This save file, it is honestly a miracle that it has made it through this series because it is held together by cr kids craft glue and duct tape and that is it. Also, I had noticed like in the meantime, oh, it actually yes, loaded. Oh, I was about to close it out and it loaded. That's a miracle. Oh, it's not letting me tab back in though. Oh, Bjorn, why are you looking like a thumb down there? What have I done? Okay, there we go. But yeah, I had actually noticed something kind of concerning. My game deleted like a bunch of my saves or my PC did something. I don't know what happened in the meantime when I wasn't recording. Luckily we still have the save, but it does not go beyond here. And that makes me uncomfortable. But I'm just gonna hope that that doesn't get any worse and it doesn't eat our current save file. Right, it was over here. Hopefully his corpse is still there. We did just do it, so. I'm also noticing the fun, uh, all of my load screens are starting to act like it's crashing. Okay, it didn't though. Still here. Oh my God. I'm glad your eyes are glowy cause I can't see anything else. Obviously I can, just a little bit, but we need candlelight. Why, okay, why does the fast travel put you by this rock? I don't wanna be here. Show me the camp. We shouldn't have any enemies to worry about or anything. We did just clear out the place, so we can just sprint on in. We're not even gonna use this. I kind of just want to look at it. <laughs> we have not switched from Hope's Fire, at least not for very long. Very situational things. I think we have switched from it, but... Oh, okay, people did respawn. Kind of rude. Why is there just a random bandit chief? Who cares about you? You know what? An extra rude? Die. Okay, that didn't do as much to you as I was hoping it would. <laughs> I thought it'd be pretty cool, but... Oh, he's got ebony stuff too, wow. That should be from the Immersive Armors mod. Wh okay, wait. I think the cave changed. I think it changed. It caved in. Hold up. This is messed up. I was just here. Okay, the rest of the mine still seems to be here, but are the corpses. We are floating on air mode today. Oh. Well, that's kind of rude. Making me reload just so I can look at a sword. That's messed up. That reset real fast. Okay, I, I just I just want to see it. I know, we're getting sidetracked already. Oh, well, he definitely saw us this time. I don't think he did before. That was kind of rude. Can you not sneak? I keep trying to, oh my God. Give me a minute, man. You know what? I do want a minute. Stop it, calm down. <laughs> And let me just put on iron flesh. Cause, oh, your head, your poor head, that has to hurt. I'm pretty sure we were able to just uh, sneak attack him. I don't know why he had to immediately notice us, but. What was that gone here? He like tripped. I wasn't going that far forward. I just power attacked when I was. Well, that was an unpleasant bit of business. That that was cheap. That's what I'd call it gone air. That was cheap. <laughs> it doesn't even do anything. It's just there. It's just there for the looks. I don't even want that. That's useless. Get out of here. <laughs> Never mind. It wasn't good enough to reload. I wouldn't even put it on my wall. Maybe I would, but I'm not going to. All right. All of that aside, we do have the visit the museum in Dawnstar misc quest. Right so behind. let's go ahead and do that. That is what starts the Maroon's Dagon quest. I think Nechi's following us too, right? I know Bjorn is. I like that I'm just calling him Nechi now. 
His name's Squat, but Nechi works too. That's just what the mod named him and I didn't want to make the mod myself. Oh, he's not. That's kind of sad. Make me go through another loading screen, a very questionable loading screen. Come on, Squat, why are you not following me? Okay, now he should be, please. Ooh, sounds like it's raining, that's cozy. Yeah, okay, he's following us now. We're oh, good, we're mind. good. Okay, now we can be off to Dawnstar. We have our friends, which I don't think should actually be a problem for this one. I can't remember, but I don't think you have to sneak around. I don't know if we really had to anyway, but Boethia told us to and I wasn't about to question her. I do actually have some of Gonair's saves backed up, <laughs> like I was talking about earlier, some of them disappearing. I should probably go ahead and do that again. I don't think I did with the finale or anything, and I don't know when I last did it before that, so... Whew. That's probably just a sign that I should do that. Hello! And here comes my first visitor. At weird the hours. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. 24-7. Well, I didn't hear an argument. I think I must have missed that in the millions of times I've been to Dawnstar and not done this quest. Uh, Museum of the Mythic Dawn. Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Me? Sounds Let's good. Talk inside. I don't even know how he can really see me. It's so dark out here. 4 a.m. This guy was just sitting out here at 4 a.m. Hoping someone would come by. He won't even, there we go. <laughs> won't even go in his own museum. He's like building up the confidence. You know, he's like, it's finally around. happening. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. Yeah, the sure. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. Their schemes. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. Man, it what a throwback. It said that Mankar Cameron <laughs> used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. It worked out great for him. Not that Gonair was there. What are you, what are you doing, man? Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia. An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon. Also a just a note. Daedra of the mythic dawn. Cool. Gonair would know how to read Daedric, being a dark elf and all. And the over here, ah, yo, yo. Xarxes were written by the mythic dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died that they would be reborn by Merun Stagon's side. Out of all the Daedric princes, why that one though? Why would you want to be with that one? Sounds like a bad idea to me, but okay, what's this job? Do you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Do we want to go into lore and backstory? I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about what is the Mythic Dawn Cult. If you don't know, go watch my Oblivion series or something. Play Oblivion even, that's even better. Don't let, okay, hello. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Don't let the potato faces stop you. It's a great game. But we will ask him why did he open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. Great. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. Perfect. <laughs> we hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or I don't Ill. like how you're still saying we, huh? Let's just talk about this job that you want done. A little history first. After sure. the Oblivion crisis, He's gonna give it to us anyway. a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. You know, post-history, I guess. One of these groups found That's their fine. razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments, and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. How convenient for us. You want me to get those fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. Some names. And the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Right. Well, <laughs> tell me more about the razor. The razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. 
The mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. And definitely not dangerous at all. Okay, well, he gave us another option. Who is Mervyn's Dagon? If you couldn't tell or didn't already know, he's just the Daedric Prince of like destruction and change. You know, all of that. You know, kind of the big bad guy in Oblivion. If you also couldn't tell that, I don't know what's up with Squat. He is just vibing. He would like to be horizontal today. But let's go ahead and track that quest. I guess for easiness sake, we could just go ahead and go to Morthal. We are fairly close to it. I think closer than anything else. Not that I'm playing with needs mods right now, but I'm so used to doing that that <laughs> that's just how my brain works now. I usually don't even fast travel. I've actually finally been modding special editions since anniversary edition came out. I just wiped all my mods before that because I knew it was going to cause issues. But I just started modding it again and I've been playing immersively on there instead now because they have the face mods that let me make on air over on special edition now. So I'm very excited about that. I can't remember if I already mentioned it. I may have. So I'm not entirely sure how we should go about trying to get this. We could just try to pickpocket it, which we are not good at. I know we did the Thieves Guild, but whew. is that our lowest skill? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, so I think that's probably not the best option for us. We could try to talk to them. I bet that would go well. We're probably gonna have to assassinate them. But hey, we'll try talking to them first. Give them a chance. Hey, Jorgen. It's raining on us. Lovely. Can you stop gathering wood Unless and talk it's to about you, the meal. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Oh, that's too bad. I'm just gonna be blunt about it, I guess. I'm looking for pieces of Marin's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. Yeah, of course you don't. Really? Silas Vesuius says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Don. Guess they were true. Yeah, yeah. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. I mean, I could try to persuade him. <laughs> you won't miss it then. I don't care, but my ancestors do. Yeah, you that's kind of what I thought. Give me the hilt or things get ugly. Easy. Here. I guess with our dragon armor and whatnot, the hilt we're scary is in a chest enough. In my house. Just don't hurt anyone. I'm surprised that actually worked. <laughs> you seemed upset about something. Yeah, we don't care. Okay. We don't care about your problems. Well, I guess we'll just waltz on in and get it if your house door is actually unlocked. Oh yeah. Gave us the whole key to the house and everything. Jeez. Very uh, trusting with that or just that scared, but ooh, there is the hilt. I love Mayrun's razor. It is so pretty. I need a replica for myself. And you know what? Just cause you were stupid and let us in here without supervision. I'm taking that. Not my fault. <laughs> so we have one guy off in Markarth. Looks like we could take the hilt back. And then one guy in Falkreath. So we'll go ahead and do Falkreath just cause it's a little bit shorter of a walk. Why not? Ah, now that, that is also definitely you? a throwback. Been a while since we've been over here. Well, I you waited until it was daylight. It help helped can. a little. It is Falkreath, what did I expect? I guess we could get out Arvac. Speed things up just a little bit. Hello, beautiful horsey. Oh, I always forget how jarring that is, first person. Yeah, yeah, we're going in the third person for this. <laughs> it's like, I don't feel like it was that unpleasant in Oblivion. Obviously Oblivion, it was actually just how the game worked, but they took it out in Skyrim. And I was like distressed about it because I was definitely a horse girl growing up. I'm going the wrong one, aren't I? I should probably give it an actual little marker. Otherwise we're gonna be walking for quite a while. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually this one. Oops, I was about to walk to Dawnstar. Even now it's like jittering, stop. Gonna make me motion sick. Oh, speaking of that, I wish I could continue the Skyrim VR series. I really do, it was so cool. I'd love to do it on PC where I can use mods, but oh my God, it made me so sick. I get motion sick really easily, so that doesn't surprise me. But still, it is sad. Oh, oh, okay. No dramatic music or anything to warn us. Thanks for that. You know, we were walking around Falkreath in the last episode and I heard a dragon. We didn't do anything about it. I think it's paying us back for that. Okay, do not just sit up there. That's very rude. Though I do have lightning bolt, which I missed. <laughs> At least hopefully Bjorn has better aim. He seems to actually be doing something to it. Okay, something else is trying to attack me. I don't know what it was, but very rude. 
Okay, please don't bite my head off. Please don't bite my head off. Okay, you, you tried. What is attacking us? We just fought a whole ass dragon and we're being attacked by something else. Listen, I know I should pick these up for the money. Actually, you know, we have Bjorn. We can throw those on him. Impressive. They're just so heavy. Damn and impressive. I know I'm going to forget to sell them. What's over here? I actually don't know. Maybe they were afraid of us after that. Oh, a wolf. I should have figured. <laughs> I like the mods that make animals a little bit more realistic, but it is kind of annoying. Just because whenever something's aggressive towards you, uh, obviously you can't do certain things. Oh, Bjorn's horse is following him. That's so cute. But yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. Let's go ahead and save again before we go up here, just in case. Because I have a feel. Actually, no, this is just an orcish stronghold, isn't it? I don't know. You, you had your bow out. Can we talk about this? Or are you just going to shoot me? Okay, yeah, they're not happy that I'm here. I thought it was just an orcish stronghold. The name made me think, and the fact that there was an orc there. Uh, I guess they're just not very friendly orcs. They didn't have to be like this. We could have talked about things. Like, come on. What's your problem? <laughs> oh, we have an arrow in the shoulder. But yeah, if I saw this coming at the gates... Yeah, he's not actually that scary, is he? <laughs> he's got cool armor, though. It's really when your dragonborn's like all decked out and like Daedric and they have the helmet and everything. I don't, I, I think I'd try to talk things out first. Okay, you, you were kind of chill at first, so I was just making sure. I figured though, I figured. Oh, you were really easy to get to. Hi, Gunzel. That's a name. I, I say as if my name's not literally gone air, which is much worse. Oh, got him. Dramatic, okay. Take that vault key, admire the stick. And take your gold. <laughs> Lovely. Fast to find him, but now we still have to find the vault. Oh, that was actually super easy to find. This place isn't very big, is it? Well. I hate bandits and thieves. Men like these raid our town every year. Dang, I'm sorry, man. Unknown Bjorn lore. <laughs> I could see it, though. He's originally from Falkreath, but... You know, lived in Vardenfell in small little reconstructions for a while. Can y'all let me pass, please? That would be, like, awesome. Get out of here. Don't make me do it. I don't think it actually works on my followers, does it? I think I took that Hermamora thing. I'll try it anyway. Move, I'm gay. No, he's immune to the gay. Should have figured. Well, this just seems a little unnecessary. <laughs> Fancy. I'll give it that, though. Oh, I was... That actually I don't think I like where this is going. Uh, yeah, you know, me neither. Maybe you should wait here. Your back. I'll be Stay right, right here. there. Be careful. Does, does Squat set off traps? He's floating. Oh, and he's doing a little dance out. Look at that. He's just frolicking around. Happy to be here. I am not going to tell him to wait just because I'm curious. Ooh. They really didn't want us to get this, but I'm taking it. Okay, I don't know how that didn't shoot me. I guess just because I was off at his side. <gasps> okay, the moment of truth. Come on. He doesn't. World's best follower. Okay, you can follow yeah, me now. <laughs> I did not trust Excellent. you. I don't remember if you can even set off traps, but just in case. All right, one piece left to go. Oh, oh no. It's always the worst when he gets in the way. Maybe, okay, you, your best follower title has, it's getting rebuked. Don't make me console command up in here again. Ain't that just the way. At least we have them. <laughs> Ooh, I should actually be looking around a little bit. Potions. Now that we don't have all of our followers, things don't die instantly. So we are actually taking a little bit of damage. Oh, that reminds me. I'm having this weird issue. So I usually play on Adept, right? In Special Edition, I want to play on Adept. But for some reason, every time I change it off, like try to make it Adept, it resets to Novice. No matter what difficulty I put it on, except for Apprentice. If I do Apprentice, it'll stay in Apprentice, but it'll toggle survival mode on. <laughs> I don't know what in the Tom fuckery is doing that. I just went into my uh, little Skyrim prefs folder and set it to be adept, and I think it's working. I just downloaded a bunch of mods, like over a hundred at once, and then wondered why it wasn't working great. <laughs> But that's just the Skyrim experience. Why am I, oh, am I about to ride all the way to Markarth? I'm telling you, that's how I usually play. Now, I feel like this would probably be a better place to fast travel just cause that looks like it's below a mountain. And hopefully over here, we wouldn't have to climb as much. 
That would be preferred, even though we do have a horse. We could conquer any mountain, but <laughs> for the sake of time. I'm trying to pre-record stuff before we literally go to Europe. Like that's still insane to me and was pretty short notice. <laughs> so hopefully this will actually be up on time, but it may take me a while. I need to get some videos ready. Man, I love the reach. It, the, just the fog makes me so happy. It's cozy. Oh, th that's the symbol for Orca strongholds. I forgore, but that's a good example of one there. The others were just pretending. They're the type of orcs you'd come across in Daggerfall. I'm getting the Daggerfall brain rot if it wasn't obvious. I'm thinking about it, but I think I'm gonna have to wait a couple of weeks before I can play it again. Okay, why are there vampires? What is happening? <laughs> Hello? Looks like Vigilance of Stendar are after him, so I'm going to... Well, you're an ancient vampire. I Come and get off my horse. That's just messed up. Okay, I get it. I get it. I guess the fog is enough for you. Oh, I was about- oh, I'm about to summon Orvac at you. I don't want to do that. Bjorn, you've got- He's hitting Nechi! He is hitting Nechi, you know? This will not do. You really made me mad now. Oh no, we got a bounty for it! It's about to get a lot worse than that. Do not hit my Nechi! You have made me angry on this day! I'm killing my friends too, <laughs> probably Nechi. Bearish! Okay, well. Oh no, they're mad at me, I'm sorry! <laughs> I thought- I thought that the thing made it to where this didn't hurt them- Nechi, no! What have I done? My hubris! My hubris! No. This cannot- this cannot be. I gotta reload. Okay, we were maybe a little dramatic there. Maybe. Just a little. Let's, uh, try that again. Hmm. It makes me sad that that shout attacks my followers too, because I- that is my favorite one. That and the tornado one, just because it's silly, and it still has to do with, you know, weather effects, gun air soul vibe. Oh my god, these loading screens. Like, they've just given up. Well, I like that it's still raining, even though I reloaded. It definitely wasn't originally. It's reminding us of our sins. So why would you attack Nechi? What did he do to you? He's literally just a little baby Nech. He can't even fight. Are they still here? I feel like they were around here. Maybe they stayed dead, even though we reloaded. Good. Oh, nope, they're over there. Never mind. Just thought they were a little closer than they were. Oh, but storm cloaks now. Well, mixing it up a little bit, I guess. Do they actually have this? They don't have an ancient vampire over here. I'm afraid of hitting them. Oh, I think they died, so guess I don't have to worry about that. Typical storm cloaks, am I right? Actually, he lived. Good for you. Do I have a heal? Yeah, here you go, guy. There you go. I'm surprised you didn't get mad about that. <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised. He's still kind of limping, but I tried. One gold, why do you just, how sad. Really make him bank today. Oh, our back disappeared, right. How annoying. Okay, it does seem like there's a little bit of mountain starting to get in the way and a lot of dark. Let's just wait. Okay, that's better for mountain traversal. You know, this just seems like the wrong way. I should probably just try to go up a little. We could have avoided that altogether, I bet. Now this is what I don't like about the reach. Okay, I don't, mm, there's not even a simple way up. All right, we're going to be a horse. Yep, look at that, incredible. <laughs> Nobody can stop us now. Oh, except for that rock. Oh, maybe, maybe, come on. We are doing so good, Arvac, so good. What happened? What happened, buddy? Get up there. All right, what if we strategically jump? That went great, that went so good. Is this just the border? Can I not go that way? I don't know. <laughs> that might be off the map. We'll traverse these rocks and probably fall to our death. I'm gonna save. <laughs> oh, that's a risky move. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, no, no, we're good. Just does not seem to want us to get past this point. I feel like that's the wall. Maybe I should have taken the other path. Oh, our back. That was not that big of a drop. Come on, man. Oh. Oh, things are getting weird. Okay, well, thanks a lot for that. He didn't even yell or nothing, he just dropped me off. Said have a good day at school. Whatever. This is easier to control anyway. <laughs> at least we're going downhill. Ah, oh, there was a path here anyway. <laughs> Look, if you're not trying to 
climb over the mountains in Skyrim. Are you really playing Skyrim right? No, you're not. We have the hermit crab mindset. We go straight there no matter what hurdles we must climb. We do not go around, we go over. It is the true warrior way. Oh, I feel like some spooky guys might try to hit us here. Yeah, it's looking a little spooky over here. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> we'll go around. Because where we really want to go is over here. And to this equally spooky place. But a little less Hagraven-y, I think. Bjorn doesn't like it still. Starting to think you're a bit of a weenie, Bjorn. As if I'm one to judge. <laughs> I would actually drive y'all insane on my special edition uh, playthroughs too, because I have one that uh, if a dungeon is uninhabited, there are no lights. Just because I like that it makes you utilize other, you know, torches and spells. It makes more sense. Oh, this is still very Forsworn. Oh, we are losing frames. Hello, Skyrim. All right, dispatched. Goodbye. We really did. Ooh, that's a big chest. Is this the right room? That's a Briarheart. Hi. Oh, he's floating. Why are you just in your undies, guy? You also don't have your Briarheart wound. I'm starting to think you're a phony. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was weird. He does indeed have a briar heart. I don't know the properties of that yet, so I guess we're just eating that straight out of him. Mm-mm. Paralysis. Ah. Oh. Well. Didn't work. Well, that was weird. <laughs> what? Why do you have these? That's messed up. They're better than mine? They are. Oh. Well. Do they look goofy, though? That's an important aspect. They're a little extra, but that's okay. Well, dang, now I want to save again. I don't want to lose those. That, that's not suspicious at all, is it? Nope, not at all. Is that skull? Would just please move? Please? Oh my god. I hate trying to target onto these. <laughs> there. Oh, that's a good hat. Oh, I need that's to sneeze, guy. Can you, like, wait? It's another naked Briarheart. What's wrong with my Briarhearts? Oh, it burns. Okay. False alarm, I think. My eyes are still watering, though. Bad time to fight. Why? <laughs> why do they just run it around in their tiny whinies? Oh, why do you have a spider in, in your tent? What'd you do to Bjorn? Come on, man. Get off of him. Well, you're gone. You good? I'm afraid to hit you. Hold up. Ooh. Heal you up. I'm healing the spider, aren't I? He is a vampire. That makes sense. I tried. I tried, okay? He can heal himself. Is it actually effective for him? Who knows? I wish he'd move. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally kill him. I don't think I would, but just in case. Woo! Still being attacked. Oh my god, someone's on Nechi! <laughs> that was just a nice spike. It got me for a second. It got me. You're, you're very dead. Okay, the whole camp's attacking us now. Get out of here. Oblivion. That guy's just sitting there. Ow. Got my knee. Epic funny joke not heard before. Go get him, man. Get him. There you go. Why are you wearing hoods again? I told you not to do that. Whatever, you can have it for now. You look goofy, though. I'm gonna say it. You look goofy. Yeah, like, what? what is wrong with my briar hearts? <laughs> this is not how you are supposed to look. Whoa! You're so light. I just wanted to flip you over. Do it. Whoop. Yeah, that's just a normal guy with a dumb hat and his fur boots. They fight to reclaim Markarth, but they live like savages. <laughs> Stop be judgy, Bjorn. I say as we're killing them. They chose to fight us. They could just let us waltz on in here without a problem. I don't get what the big deal is. Are there dudes up there trying to fight me? Come on, that's just rude. I'm going in anyway. I don't have time to wait for this. And we still probably should work on alchemy at some point, but y'all know. We know how it is at this point. Most people that have tried to yell at me over doing things in the series have given up by this point, so. Ooh, look at this nice little dinner table. Appetizing. Oh, that opens the door. There we go. Also a book. A skill book. That's what I was hoping for. Even it wanted us to level our alchemy finally. Even the game's telling me to now. Okay, you didn't hit me before, rude. Just made me nice and toasty. This is really taking us on a journey. Is that another stupid little Nike Briar Heart? I just, I just don't know, man. I just don't know. Oh, yep. That's kind of what I thought. Oh, am I falling off a cliff? 
Oh, yes I am. <laughs> Whoops. Let me back up. My net is up there. Please. Oh, you're dress school. I see. Well, she followed me anyway, so. All right, gotta be dramatic about it again. No, don't fall off the same cliff. I need you. <laughs> Pommel stone, great, we have it. But I also have a suspicion there's some loot up here that I would like, so let me just get back up. Yep, ward wall too, that's what I thought. That's a beautiful mace, I have to say. Okay, that's gonna try to hit me, but maybe if I just go around here, it'll ignore me and we can learn a new word. All right, there we go. And I can only assume we can unlock it, especially since we just killed a dragon. Oh, I didn't fully unlock that. There we go. All right, now we just need to go back and give these back. What could go wrong? Surely nothing. Oh, that's a really pretty night. I could wait, but that's just too pretty. Shady Sam, what are you doing over here? Need something. Guess not. That's just really pretty. Wow. All right, we're back. You never sleep, I see, or you're just a night owl. It's 4.20 again. Always the blazing hours when we're around this guy. Do you have one of the razor fragments? I have all the pieces of the razor. All at once. You're efficient. I like that. No point Here's in traveling reward. back and forth. Finally. All the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor. Kind of figured. And there's more. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to do it anyways because I want this dagger. You think Dagon will repair the razor? Ever since I was a boy, I felt this strange sense of destiny surrounding the Mythic Dawn cult. And Great. now I know what it is. Don't you see? Fate has led you to me and to the pieces. Dagon has to answer our call. We're so close. I'll meet you at the shrine. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you cooking over there? This is not the time. Well, the shrine is nearby, but we still have a little bit of a walk we'll have to do. But I do think these stairs kind of lead up and around to it. If I'm remembering correctly, definitely do. Yep. Okay, this should Good. be it. Right here. I'll place the pieces on the altar and Dagon should speak to us. Perfect. I really th love that they Maroon's made him a more goblin-y looking guy. <laughs> Skyrim is so we buff and oblivion. Your to you. We thank you. Please. Bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. Why do- I was wondering what was attacking this. Is that stupid dragon? Oh, no, I guess- Oh! Okay, hi there! Figured we were too close to that little, uh, dragon shrine. <laughs> Please don't die to the boss. <laughs> I swear. Okay. My god. Rude. Didn't notice him on the way up. I think Bjorn maybe was dealing with it because, uh, yeah, he's a little behind and very hurt. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Bjorn. You, mortal. Hey. You are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. Glad I could entertain. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. Okay. Kill sure. Him. <laughs> Take your I'm not... place as my champion, or I will crush you. I'm not about to object with the Daedric Prince. Sorry, Silas. I, I... You need something? Wait, don't kill me. There's another way. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. Like you should have done. You get a if even that. Killed, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. But then I don't get the artifact I'm after. Fine. I'm not dying without a fight. Sorry. Here we go. Normally, you know, sure. But I like the stagger, so... Had to be done. Also, I get your cool robes. What? Now, why do you have that? I am quite certain that is a Shea Gorath artifact, but okay. Take the cool robes, woo! And, you know, I'll take those too. Sorry for leaving you like that, but... Alright, it's done. I mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. Sure. Thank you. You have been a worthy <laughs> tool. Great. Fill the world 
with destruction in my name. Place your hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Merun's Dagon for yourself. Okay. There we go. Cool animation. Thank you. Before what a beautiful you go weapon. Mortal, one final challenge. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're just going for Bjorn. Come on. See, that is a weapon I put on my wall. And perhaps I just will. Taking your hearts. Yay. And Impressive. now we can go into his shrine. And continue to loot this as well. Look, he must have wanted us to, or he wouldn't have given us the keys. I feel like there's more in here. Yep, yep, there is. Oh, that one's a wizard! No! I don't think so. No wizards here. And we will just take everything. Maybe I should actually sell stuff after this, huh? Oh, cause see, that's that's just a lot of gold. A lot of enchanted items. I just don't really know if we need gold. Oh, that's a pretty weapon. Oh, I'm gonna get over encumbered. That one looks a little runescapey. <laughs> I do love it though, but little runescapey. You know what? We'll take it too. We'll sell it. Oh no. Yep, that's what I thought. Bjorn. Bjorn, help me. Oh, there's shoes on the ground. Did I ever loot you? I didn't. Weird. Okay. I think that's everything. Please help me. Still here. That's some unflattering lighting, my friend. Just take all of that and I'll totally remember to sell it someday. But yeah, let's actually look at our new weapon. Mayrune's Razor. Hits have a small chance to instantly kill. I do like it. However, once again, we're not gonna use it. So we might as well head back to Lakeview and put it on display. I know I keep mentioning special edition. I just have it on the brain since that's actually what I've been playing lately. I guess I should say anniversary edition, but the anniversary upgrade came with like a wizard tower that I've been using because I'm not actually playing as Gonair for once. I know, surprising. I'm kind of just testing it out and I want to play through like all of Skyrim, like all the side quests again on that character. Oh, see my w eyes are watering because of the ring light. But um, yeah, that wizard tower has like specific places to put like the Daedric artifacts and whatnot. And that makes me happy. Oh, what a nice sunset. Wow. Oh, naked Teldrin always has to be. Give him a moment. <laughs> I don't know why the light's freaking out so bad in here. It has to just be some mod conflicts, but man, is it annoying. But did I put the ebony mail up? I think I did, but I should have really put it on display. We do have display pieces. Need something? I bet I put it in here, which for some reason there's two here. Probably also mod conflicts, but which one's it in? <laughs> it's always the game. Here it is. But yeah, I should totally just put this stuff on display. So the ebony mail will go there. And you know, I bet Teldrin would appreciate having Meryn's <laughs> razor in his room. Totally, yeah. There we go. Woo. I've actually, on my first save of Gone Air, I actually lost Mirak sword because I put it on one of these. So I'm hoping that doesn't disappear, but at least on this save, I have console commands, unlike my original save, which was on the 360. So hopefully that doesn't happen. You know, there's one last thing I wanna do. I was about to end this episode, but can I steal that guy's stuff now? I mean, I probably could anyway, but I kinda want the stuff he had on display. And if Gonair did do this quest, he would want those books. In fact, maybe even at some point in Gonair and Bjorn's adventures, they do go to this museum. I don't think things would play out how they did. I'm not entirely sure. Right maybe, just maybe, but I do think he would probably steal those books for the knowledge. <laughs> The curiosity, if you will. And even I could see his curiosity leading him to try to get the dagger. I'll have to think on it a little more, but it could become canon. I just feel like he's a little bit too wary for it, if that makes sense. And he has had his whole redemption arc and everything. God, these loading screens, they keep freaking me out. I know it's probably gonna load, they have been, but they just stop. Yeah, ominous. I will be surprised if this save file actually lasts until we can do all of Skyrim because would I like to do the side quest someday too? Why not? I'm an Elder Scrolls channel and there's only so much content I can make. I guess there are mods that pretty much makes it infinite, but... And these games are huge anyway, but still, we know I love Skyrim, so 
want to play as much of it over here as I can. I want the books. I want the books. Give them to me. Forbidden knowledge. Give it to me. I don't think I can take those, but if I can, I will. Nope. How sad. They should let us. I'm assuming those are just the same things he was yes, wearing and we already have that. So now I want to put them in my library. Rare book, rare book. Oh, I should totally read those on the Tales channel. I totally should. I just got done recording like five episodes for that for whenever I'm away. Well, you know, what's a little more? <laughs> it's good to be prepared. Unless we realize I just mostly wanted to go through more loading screens. It's like my original save of Gun Air literally takes like 10 or 15 minutes to load him up now. It's sad. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, put them on my shelf. Beautiful. Big chunky books too. Whew. Oh, that has overexposed me. Hello. Looking real shiny now. But yeah, guys, that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. I imagine in the next one, we might do like Clovicus Vile or something because we do have that quest as well. I need to double check and see what all I have, but I did see that one. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave this video a like. A huge thank you to my current Oathman over on Patreon, Mac and Amanda. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by supporting my YouTube or becoming a YouTube member. But I also have Throne and Coffee as well if you don't want to do a monthly thing. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.